Korea has these things called choriwon or the Sanu Joriwon, and in English it translates to postpartum recovery center. And it's where a lot of women go right after they give birth to learn how to take care of their baby while they physically recover. We didn't even know these existed until we got to Korea. When we were pregnant, a lot of people were like, are you gonna go to 21 after? And I was like, what the heck is a 21? Um, but we decided to go because, well, I guess, because a lot of people recommended it. A lot of people were like, you should go to 21. A lot of my friends were like, try to get all the help that you can. And it was also scary thinking of bringing a baby home right after it was born, especially when expected that I was gonna be like, sick or tired not sick so chori ones are really catered for the mom more than anyone but basically it comes with a room like cleaning services they provide three meals a day for the mom plus a couple snacks throughout the day they have or someone described a chori one to us as like the last vacation a mom gets before having to be a mom basically but we kind of saw it or experienced it as a crash course on how to take care of Will before we came home while having on-call support. So we did sleep with Will in our room the entire week, which I don't think is really common at the 21. A lot of the people that worked there were like, what, you wanna sleep with the baby in the room? Like, how are you gonna get rest? But we wanted to try it out just so we knew what to expect when we got back. And also it felt like a safe place to do it because we had people that we could lean on and ask questions to anytime we wanted and people that would like step in and help us take care of um, well if things were getting too out of control. Generally the average time that people go to 21 is two weeks so we shopped around a couple places and most places offered a two-week package. We had to ask for a different rate because we were only planning on going for a week but some people stay up to three weeks even a month. It wasn't that expensive I mean it is a little bit on the pricier end but considering the fact that it only costs like $400 to deliver the baby. Most Chori ones I think typically cost between $100 to $200 a night. Um, so if you're doing the full two weeks, I guess it'll run you anywhere from $1,400 to $2,800, if that math's correct. But we ended up going for a week and we paid around $1,000. So if you think of it as like a full service hotel that includes um, all meals, Cleaning your room every day, they do your laundry for free, a sits best machine, other like massage chairs. They have a nursery and basically like nannies 24 seven that take care of your baby. We showed up from the hospital with nothing and so they had like diapers, they had clothes for the baby, swaddles, and they even have a free massage that's included in the price, which I think a lot of moms would appreciate post birth. So in that sense, $100 to $200 a night really isn't that bad. There's hotels that cost way more that offer way less. <laughs> and it caters to a lot of different types of needs that um, moms have. So if a mom needs more time to physically recover, then she can have the time and space to do that. And they also teach you how to breastfeed while you're there, which is um, pretty awesome because I think a lot of times otherwise you have to hire a lactation consultant. Breastfeeding was surprisingly a lot like more complicated and technical than I thought it would be just because that's how women keep babies alive. You assume it's gonna be natural, but I found that it wasn't. <laughs> and they also teach you basic things like how to change diapers, how to do a swaddle, how to wash your baby. Um, basically like essential things to keep your baby alive during the first few weeks. Well, another option for support after birth is typically your parents or your in-laws or something that come over to your house to help out with stuff, whether it's just things around the house or teaching you how to take care of the baby because obviously they've raised you and know how to take care of a baby. But one thing that I found really helpful about the 21 was the fact that it was complete strangers that I had no emotional attachment to or emotional baggage with that were telling me how to basically do things. And I think it made me a lot more open-minded to receiving advice on how to take care of a baby. I know we're really lucky to have been able to do something like this just because I don't think this is a service that's offered in a lot of different parts of the world. But I did hear from someone that America does have postpartum doulas if you are having a baby in the near future and want someone to come help out who's not your mom or your mother-in-law. And looking back, I can't imagine having come home straight from the hospital. I mean, you do get like the standard two nights at a hospital, but even so, like I was still completely like in pain everywhere. 
and still had no idea what to do with the baby. My milk hadn't even come in yet, which was like terrifying. I'm like, what if the baby dies because he can't eat anything? And when I did tell a lot of people about 21s, a lot of my friends were like, I can't believe things like this exist because it is really like overwhelming and terrifying to come home right after your hospital stay. Yeah, so that's basically what a 21 is. I didn't know what one was when I first got to Korea and people were asking me about it. Um, as new parents, we'd 100% do it over again. Um, if you have the opportunity to do it, you should do it as well. But, and if you don't, good luck. <laughs> you can still do it though. Lots of people survive. <laughs>